Yeah, first off, uh, I would just like to um, more so show my um, appreciation to uh, pretty much everyone involved uh, from the side, despite uh, the contract stuff not going the way uh, I had planned for it to go. And like, to, I know there's going to be a lot of questions about um, the entire the process and everything like that, and to get on the process. Uh, I thought it was it was very distasteful to say the least. Uh, wasn't what I anticipated nor did I like what I expected from the situation but you know I'm grateful for the uh, fans all the loyal fans and everyone that uh, the players as well in the locker room and the city of Chicago that uh, stood behind me throughout this process and it means a lot to myself um, but now I'm just shifting my focus to the um, season and more so just focused on being the best teammate I can be um, to those guys in the uh, locker room um, it's my last year of my deal uh, and hey, I'm just gonna take it, run with it, bet on myself like I've always done. And the negotiations are um, over right now, so it's more so I'm just focused on the season, going out there, being the best bear I can be, because I owe that to the guys in the locker room and to the city and the, um, all the uh, loyal fans out there. So, but I'll open it up for you guys. I'm sure there's so a couple that, questions. Right. So does that mean you said negotiations are over? Are you planning to play out the final year of your deal? Uh, that's correct. Betting on myself. <laughs> uh, well, obviously the talks didn't get too far, um, and they it didn't it didn't end in the, the way that I wanted them to end. And it's basically like, hey, I know at the end of the year it's gonna be it's gonna be a big big season for myself, and also at the end of the season there's gonna be, you know, there's a lot of different direction things could go, and so I know I need to put myself and my body in the uh, best possible situation to succeed, and I feel like with this time that I have, it'll be enough time for me to prepare myself for the um, season. What was, the most recent, what was the most recent conversation you had with Ryan Poles, and how did it end? Uh, well, the conversation, it's over. There's, there, there's, there's, not, there's not conversation. I can't think back to then. I just know it, the conversations are over, so there's nothing more to be said besides just going out there and being the best player I can be Real for myself and my teammates. Well, what, what, pro what prompted you to not only ask for a trade, but to put out the statement that you did that was different. You know, a lot of players ask for trades and don't write 300 words about it. But tell us, what were you thinking? Uh, yeah, it was it was very emotional for me because normally I don't I tend to not voice my uh, opinion as much, but I thought it was time for me to do that and. There, there, there was a lot of different things going on out there, a lot of different speculation, speculating and, like, things of that nature. And I just wanted the fans to know and the great city of Chicago to know, like, what was really going on since no one really knew and a lot of people was kind of caught in the blind. So I just wanted that to be known. Did it have the, did it have the effect that you thought it would or not? Uh, it, I wasn't really looking for any type of an effect. I was just more so just expressing the way I felt and how, like, the way I felt about the situation and what I thought was best for me and my, my future. Are you saying that you will not consider any more offers from the Bears? Um, there's, there's no more offers at this time, and I don't think there will be any during the season. My fo focus has shifted to this season, so that's what I'm focused on right now, just this season. It's been an amazing four years, and, hey, five, why not make it a little more special? So that's my plan. Your full intention, then, is, if I'm, I want to make sure I'm understanding correctly, is to play this season and then leave. My full intention to play this season and whatever happens, happens, you know, and whatever it is I have to go through this season, I'll do a chin up, chest out, <laughs> sunsets, no regrets, baby. You said the process was was very distasteful, to say the least. How was the process distasteful? Uh, I think it was just more so when not coming into a, an agreement when I feel like I've busted my ass so long here, you know, and not being rewarded um, was something I thought I was rightfully rightfully deserved. Uh, in a sense, it's like, hey, you bust your ass, you may get you may get rewarded in a sense. But hey, that's that. I'm moving moving past it now, and I'm focused on the season and going out there and enjoying the time with my guys because that's who I you know truly care about. Do you regret not having an agent? Pardon? Do you regret not having an agent through this process? No, I don't uh, regret uh, not having an agent throughout the, throughout this process. I think that's just a bunch of excuses when um, people people say that times are changing. And I feel like players want to be at the table to have full transparency to know what's actually going on, what's being said. Because, hey, a lot of people can say a lot of different things. And, hey, but when you know you're there yourself, you see it with your own eyes, you know for a fact what's going on. What was it like you to mentioned the process that yourself? I mean, did you go, you obviously went in thinking something would happen that did not. But what did you learn through the process of just representing yourself through negotiations? Um, 
I didn't learn. I didn't learn a lot, but I didn't learn too much. Some things that I didn't quite know, but I just really learned how the business really worked. But that was something that I did kind of know, heard about, and things of that nature. But it just shows you how the game is and how it goes. So hey, you have to get you where you can. Who is who is Saint Omni? Pardon? Who is Saint Omni? I have a I have a team of advisors and uh, Saint someone I know, I trust, and has my best interests at heart. In your statement, you mentioned the possibility of ownership getting involved in these negotiations. Were you disappointed that they did not? Obviously, Pose is new here, but maybe you felt you would have some more loyalty from ownership. Were you disappointed that they didn't get involved? And then how do you reconcile going out and representing an organization that you feel personally disrespected you? Oh, wow, great question. But um, I would say uh, my uh, loyalty lies uh, with the uh, city of Chicago, you know, the loyal, loyal fans here, the guys in the locker room who I – Put, go, put blood, sweat, and tears on the line with uh, each and every day, each and every week. So I'm more so focused on those guys and doing, being the best guy I can be for those guys because that's what matters at the end of the day, and that's what you have when this is all said and done. Well, you talked a lot about this in vague terms. What were you aiming for in your contract requests that, that left such a gap between you and the organization? Uh, I see myself at a, a number, and they see me at a number, and it was a – we, we, couldn't, we couldn't agree. We can agree to disagree. But, hey, I would never accept a bad deal. Like I pretty much said, I would never accept a deal that I don't feel like is worth what I'm worth. Are you willing to share the number? Uh, no. Why not? Because it's, it, it wasn't the number that I needed, <laughs> nor what, that I wanted. I mean, it was the one you requested, though. I mean, your, your number. Yeah. Your my number, number it, it, wasn't, it wasn't what they – what it, it, their, my number and their number was not the same, and that's, that's pretty much all I can say on that. Your number more than any other – uh, well, yeah, I definitely. Like five, five years, six years, I, I would probably think so. Yeah. Broke on live practice today. Did they tell you they weren't going to change the contract offer that was on the table? Is that why you practiced today? Uh, no, I think this is. Uh, I chatted with Coach Flew, so you know, me and him had a. Uh, it was a relationship with me and him, who I had, and transparency. Where I talked with him, and we discussed the plan that uh, I felt comfortable with going forward, and uh, he respected that, and he said, "Hey, so." That's that's what I did. Did they, did they find you? Did they find you in the last week when you missed practices after you came off the pup? Um, after I came off the pup, uh, no, I haven't. I haven't been fine. Yeah. Can, you, can you tell us is guaranteed money important to you? Is is that something that you're hanging on? Is it you know not having a de-escalation at the end of the contract? You know what for you is most important with the deal that you want? I think for anyone in any deals, I think the most important things are guaranteed money and like I don't know many people with de-escalators in their deals I think you can maybe look that up contracts are public right so maybe you can look that up and tell me how many people you see that uh, have de-escalators uh, in their contracts that making a certain number a year they can give you the franchise tag next year if they want to um, has that come up in conversations and what would that mean to you if they did that uh, I'll get there when I get there uh, but I think the contract, the, I mean, the uh, franchise tax should be a nice number next year, whatever it is. But that's what you're making this year. Uh, yeah, so that's, you know, that, that wouldn't be bad. But, hey, I'll get there when I uh, get there. And I'm, I'm just more so focused on um, this season and just going out there with my teammates, betting on myself like I do each and every year and double downing on Sunday. Just last one, Dan. You, re you requested a trade. Are, are you still interested in potentially being traded for me? Well, that was the climb, so I think – my focus has to shift. I have a contract to fulfill, and I'm just going to go out there and be the best teammate I can be, best guy in the locker room I can be to those guys, and that's 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 my focus. And hey, I'm going to do it the same way I've always done it, 100 miles an hour, and won't let up.